What's going on YouTube? It is the second episode of my Mask Me journey. I wanted to let you guys know what's been going on and what other few things that I've been using. So I'm not sure if you guys seen my last episode on my LED face mask but I'm doing a follow-up on the products that I've been using alongside with the face masks that have been helping. If you guys are new, I've been doing a lot of trial and error things with different products and trying to see what's helpful with my face uh, because I've been breaking out really bad with uh, the mask knee. This right here has been a big improvement. As you guys see in this picture right here, it's been horrible. Like, I didn't even want to go outside the house once it started. It went from like, one to two breakouts to like five to like ten and i was stressing the hell out i was like all right uh-uh we're gonna do something about this because my face was never been like the the horrible breakout type i'd break out a few times like during my cycle or whatever but then it would go away and now I'm trying to treat the scars i've been mia from all social media i mean i'll share repost whatever but I stopped posting because I was embarrassed. I was like, I didn't want to show anybody my face. It was hurting me and I know it was hurting my social media and I know I had to get back on. So I'm here to let you guys know, stop hiding and I'm gonna show you guys my tips on what's helped my breakout. So today's video, we're gonna go over three products that I've been using. It is by Peach Slices, which is actually owned by Peach and Lily. I've teamed up with Peach Slices to see their different products. One of the products is to die for. I'm not saying the other two are not, it's just one of my favorites. I'm actually on my second pack of them. I'm going to show you the first one, which is my favorite, which is this right here. These are the micro darts. These are fast acting patches that you apply on your blemishes and you'll use it eight hours. I'm not even gonna lie, I use it maybe throughout the whole day. And then at night, once I'm ready to go to sleep, I just remove them and wash my face. So this one helps with blemishes, like little acne, the ones that like are rising up like before it gets to like a super huge pimple. What I love about these is that it contains like tea tree, which is like my ultimate favorite. I know Styx hates the smell of tea tree, but this has like no scent at all. It contains salicylic acid, tea tree, and willow bark. It also has hyaluronic acid and niacinamide and how you use it. So I'll just cleanse my face with my cleanser and then make sure I pat dry and then I'll remove one of these little micro darts and place it on one of the zits I have. It's clear and transparent so you can use it under your makeup. Sometimes I wear it overnight. Next product is this right here. This right here is the Crazy Snail Rescue. This is the all-in-one oil-free moisturizer, which is great for oily skin. Like I told you, I spoke to them, I needed something for oily, acne-prone skin, and this is their number one that they recommended for me. I don't want anything so heavy, which I love about this moisturizer. A lot of moisturizers are super heavy on my skin, and that's when I start breaking out, especially with the face mask, I got this uh, friction going on. This is like super lightweight, like I put it on my skin, I'm gonna show you you guys how it looks like I said it's like water on my skin like a moisturizer that's like not thick or heavy oh damn my hair is on my hand Ew, sorry you guys <laughs> so like I said it's like water just like melts into your hand and it doesn't leave it feeling sticky so with this one it says towards my last step in my routine in my a.m. p.m. I would wash my face with a cleanser then pat dry and then use a toner and then do my moisturizer last but not least this right here this is the snail rescue toner which is also helpful for blemishes and oily skin so cleanser then toner then my moisturizer well I'll do a serum and then my moisturizer and then my SPF if my moisturizer doesn't have SPF will help fight dark spots and the scarring that I have from the mask knee, especially like the ones on the bottom that have been really stubborn. 
The toner has helped target those a lot. One thing I love about it, it's that it's alcohol free, fragrance free. I love that it's cruelty free. There's like no harsh chemicals in this product at all. And I'll apply the toner with a little cotton pad. I used to do the, um, the little cotton balls, but I realized that the cotton balls use up more of your product than the cotton pad. So I'll just use a little cotton round pads and just apply toner and then just rub it all on my face. So try these products. I hope you guys like them as much as I do. If you guys do try them out, if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments and I'll go ahead and answer them. You guys know who I answer to everybody. Well, I try to answer to everybody. I know sometimes it takes a few days. Uh, recently, we've been in that winter storm and I couldn't reply to any of you guys, but luckily we got power and I was able to charge my phone up and answer a lot of you guys. Uh, stay tuned so I can show you guys my full AM uh, skincare routine routine and my PM skincare routine. Dix is also going to do a men's skincare routine and show you guys what he's using and what he loves because he is now on the skincare train and uh, let us know what you guys use. All right guys, I'll see you guys on the next one.